When nope, I didn't that pass that someone sign. was wrong. It was an officer. Was it you Tell me I could park there? One of the officers just told me to when I pulled over there because I didn't want to go past that sign. Yeah, you can. But I can take, there, I can take pictures and video. Yeah, all on this property I can. I can go in the lobby and do it, and I can do it right here. And okay. I can take video you of can, you. You can do it out there. I can, can do, do it from... anywhere on this property. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. You need to walk that way. I, I, this is a First Amendment right here. No, it's not. You know, also... Your First Amendment right is out there. No. Hello, and welcome back to Legal Descent where we evaluate your constitutional rights before they're taken away. We are super excited to let you know that we are expanding into the social media realm and have just launched our Facebook and our Twitter accounts. Our account handles are in the description below, so make sure to follow those to keep up to date with all of your constitutional rights. Today, we evaluate the video of YouTuber 51-55-0 as she conducts a First Amendment audit by filming a police department in Little Rock, Arkansas a couple of months ago. As always, the link to the original channel, video statutes, and case law are all located in the description below. The auditor is able to record the front of the building and the lobby before she is stopped in the back of the building by Officer Tobler. I can video anywhere here, and the guy told me to park right there. Okay, well, come here. Let me show you something. What? Just tell me what it is. I don't need to follow you. I read that. And the guy told me I could park okay. right there, okay. and I can video anywhere here. No, this is pub this is public property, and the reason I came back here is because someone followed me and came and took a picture of my license plate when I left here. This is public property. I have a First Amendment right to video. As we have discussed before. The First Amendment does protect your right to film buildings, people, and events that are visible from public property. A police station is technically public property, but just like with schools, libraries, fire stations, and other iterations of publicly owned property, the government is able to restrict the public's access to these facilities if there is a compelling government interest. The United States Supreme Court held in Katz that people have a recognizable privacy interest if they exhibit a subjective expectation of privacy and if that expectation is one that society is prepared to recognize as reasonable. In my opinion, there is nothing in this parking lot that would denote the public's inability to travel through or would create any type of privacy interest. If the auditor had broken through a locked gate, climbed over a fence, or somehow maneuvered herself through some type of exclusionary structure, then the police would have a potential argument for prohibiting her from filming. However, to our knowledge, there is nothing here preventing the freedom of movement, and therefore the police do not, at this point, have a reasonable privacy expectation to prohibit her from filming the parking lot. And photograph. The video. Leave this property, ma'am. I, I have a first amendment right to be here, like you I can walk in the lobby. Right to be out front. Someone told me I could. Put you need to quit. Why are you getting so close to me? Why are you? I'm backing up from you. Okay. I'm trying to get you to back up that way. Yeah. I can walk anywhere on here. No, it's a can't. First Amendment right. Yeah, I can. And I parked here with permission. Someone told me to. Okay. Well, when I didn't that pass that someone sign. Someone was wrong. It was an officer. Was it you who told me I could park there? One of the officers just told me to when I pulled over there because I didn't want to go past that sign. Yeah, you can. But I can take there, I can take pictures and video. Yeah. All on this property I can. I can go in the lobby and do it, and I can do it right here. And okay. I can take video you of can, you. You can do it out there. I can, can do, do it anywhere on this property. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. You need to walk that way. I, I, this is a First Amendment right here. No, it's not. You know, also... Your First Amendment right is out there. No. This statement by the officer really irked me. Your First Amendment right is out there. No. The First Amendment does not stop existing in a police parking lot. While the government is able to set reasonable time, place, manner limitations, this is the attitude that needs to be quashed within law enforcement. Our rights do not dissipate just because you are armed with a badge and a gun. No, it's not. No, it's not. Man, did you read the sign? This is that, that's a that's a request. That is that does not change my First Amendment right to video public property and walk on it. Now, if you don't want me parked there, I won't. But one of the officers told me to. Okay. Well, I'm telling you to move your vehicle, so get in the car and move, please. Okay, I'll move it right there. You need to quit, man. Where's Why are vehicle? you getting all up on me? Where's your vehicle? Why? I, I don't care where your vehicle is. I just need you to get it from us. Yeah, I'll, I'll move my vehicle. But there? I'm going to video here all I want to. No, you're going to leave. 
At this point, the auditor moves to her vehicle, gets back out, and starts filming again. Hey, this is the first minute, right? No, Arkansas code 21-1-106. Look at that. That's Arkansas code. Little Rock uh, Police, you have General Order 19 that says I can do this. But the most important thing is the First Amendment. While it is absolutely true that the protections and all legal analysis of fundamental liberties begin with the Constitution, it is local ordinances, state statutes, and the decisions made by the courts of your jurisdiction that frequently determine what law enforcement will do or not do in these types of situations. The auditor has researched the law in her state and the city before picking up her camera and exercising her rights. This is vitally important for any auditor to learn before going out and potentially getting into legal trouble. Arkansas Statute 21-1-106 protects citizens' rights to record the police in public and prohibits law enforcement from obstructing or preventing an individual from recording them. Little Rock Police Department General Order 119 enacts the policy specifically recognizing the statutory right of citizens to record officers in public places. Further, it prohibits officers from instructing individuals that they are restricted from filming, demand their ID, demand to know why they're filming, detain the person, or in any way threaten, intimidate, or otherwise discourage the individual from recording. Additionally, it defines public spaces where officers can be recorded, such as parks, sidewalks, streets, open public property, and locations of public protest. The parking lot of the police department is open to the public, and therefore she has the right to record per the Little Rock Police Department's own policy. You need to leave me alone. The First Amendment does not grant you the ability to go wherever you want. On public property. That's what this is, is public property. This area is restricted to authorized no, it's not. personnel. No, it's not. You can go out there. There you can go is in not. The front door. It is You're not. not this is public property. Okay. Okay. You need to go that way. I'm going to walk around again. You already did. I'm going to do it again. No, you're not. You are screwing up, sir. Get your hands off of me. Don't walk where I told you not to. Arkansas Code. And Little Rock, General Order 19. Here, I got it in my pocket. Step back up on the curb, please. Tobler. 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 Step back up on the curb, please. Just stop it. Always want to give direct directives. Step, step back up on the curb, please. Stop it. I really do not understand the officer's need for her to step back on the curb here. It'd be one thing if they were in a busy street or somewhere where it could be potentially dangerous, but that's simply not the case here. It's obvious that he's trying to save some shred of his own dignity by demanding that she step up on the curb to give his ego a win. You don't like being recorded? You're a public servant, aren't you? If you don't like it, walk away. What is the difference? Public recording of police activity. Yeah. Yeah, you can record police activity. Yeah, First Amendment. Where I can't. Can anywhere on public property. Look at Show the me. Arkansas Code. Show 21 dash 1 dash 106. Look at it. You got a copy of it? You said you had a copy of nope. it. Nope. This is the General Order 19. Okay, and that's all me. you need because you fucked up many policies already. No, I haven't. Yeah, you have. This is as far as you go. You need to go back up on the curb. You are not going to violate my First Amendment right. And this you you will First not Amendment have right. qualified immunity if you keep on. I'm telling you, it won't work in your favor in the long run. Ma'am. Sir. Step back, please. I'm going to walk around on this public property. That's what I'm going to do. Is I have a right getting to the do major? it. Yeah, get the major. At this point, the officer and the auditor engage in a staring contest for the next couple of minutes as they wait for the major to respond. Yeah. What's your name and badge number, sir? Quiller, 27107. Thank you. You're an arrogant, egotistical asshole. 
Thank you. Right. I appreciate it. I'll just be a minute. There you have it. Officer Tobler was informed that the parking lot was not restricted and that the auditor was within her rights to record anything she could observe from public property. Well done to the auditor for not being intimidated and for knowing her state and local laws to be able to refute the officer on the spot. Officer Tobler, we're not so impressed with. Hopefully he learned his lesson from this encounter, but his attitude and belief that the First Amendment only applies where he allows it to is absolutely dangerous. The Little Rock Police Department's contact info is in the description below if you would like to let them know how their employee performed in this audit. What do you guys think? Should the officer be disciplined? Should the auditor have done something differently? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time right here on Legal Descent.